welcome back guys, Tactical AV here, and today I'm going to be setting up the Emotiva MC700 Pre-Pro processor with you guys. Let's get started. So the Emotiva MC700 is a 7.1 Pre-Pro processor capable of being used in, well, a home theater and a two-channel music listening setup. Now remember, this is a pre-amplifier processor and, well, must be used with separate power amplifiers. It's not a surround sound receiver. So first things first, let's get started with power. We're going to use the supplied power cord given to us by Emotiva in the box. We're going to pick a place out in our rack and, well, run the power cord. But this time to keep things simple, I'm going to be setting it up in the two-channel listening configuration first. That way to give you guys a better view of exactly how I've hooked it up and with what. I actually really like the power cord that Emotiva supplied us with, this MC700, so I'm just going to use the factory cord. The MC700 happens to be exactly the same size as the PT100 preamp unit the, from Emotiva as well. I've plugged the power cord into the processor port of my surge protector power conditioner. And of course, into the back of the MC700. By the way, make sure all of your components are turned off when installing any audio or video gear. But next, we're going to do, go ahead and pick out an input device to plug into the MC700 via the RCA cables provided. And since the MC700 doesn't have a phono preamplifier on board, I'm going to be using my Emotiva XPS1 Gen 2 phono preamp. So let's pick one of the analog input ports to use for our phono preamplifier and go ahead and connect the RCA cables and make sure they're secure. Now the next thing we need to do is provide an output to the power amplifier that we're going to be using to send a signal to. I'm going to choose another identical pair of RCA cables that we used for the input and we're just going to select the front left and right analog output of the MC700. And we're going to be sending that signal to the Emotiva Basex A300 Renowned Stereo Power Amplifier. Since I'm not setting up the MC700 in the home theater configuration just yet, it's pretty much going to be an analog configuration so far, and we'll have no need to set up any of the HDMI cables just yet. We'll be doing that once we actually put the MC700 in the rack for the home theater configuration. All right, so now that we've got our input, our output, and our power connected to the MC700, we're essentially done connecting it. As long as I'm just using it for a turntable setup so far. Any other inputs like a DAC or a network player, we'll go ahead and set those things up later. Now, since the MC700 is a home theater processor with the HDMI inputs, I'm going to be capable of using my laptop connection with an HDMI output to send any signals I'd like to it digitally this time instead of analog connections. Now that we've got the MC700 plugged in, I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button in the back of it, see if we get power, and well, let's have some fun. So it looks like we've got power to our MC700. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the front button, and well, make sure to connect up my other sources. For starters, I'm going to be using my SVS Prime bookshelf speakers connected to my A3. A300 power amplifier. All right, guys, we threw a record on there. Let's go ahead and get it spinning, drop the needle, and see how she sounds. Now we've selected our input on the MC700. Let's go ahead and turn the volume up. And now we're in analog two channel. So using the supplied remote that Emotiva gave us with the MC700, I'm gonna go ahead and select the sound mode that I'd like, which obviously in this case, is going to be stereo, or we can use our choice of direct mode. We can also select all stereo if we're in a surround sound setup. But in this case, I'm gonna go with direct mode and sit back and turn up the volume. So now that we know that the analog stereo input works on the MC700, let's go ahead and test out the HDMI input with our laptop and try some Spotify and Tidal this time. All right, so last but not least, before we move the MC700 over to the home theater rack for the surround sound setup, I'm going to plug in my AudioQuest Chocolate HDMI cables coming from my laptop into the HDMI input. Let's just go ahead and pick any HDMI input, either the HDCP 2.2 ports for high dynamic range and 4K Ultra HD, or any of the 1 through 6 inputs. This time I'm just going to choose HDMI input 1. 
All right, so this time, instead of the record player, we're going to move on over to the HDMI 1 input. Now that we've got our laptop plugged in, we're going to go ahead and pick out some music to play. All right, looks like it's telling us it's in pulse cold modulation, 48 kilohertz at 2 channel. Now, since this is actually a home theater processor, it's always going to default to Dolby Pro Logic Movie Surround Mode. So we're going to go ahead one more time and click it in to stereo mode and turn up the volume. Now that was just about the easiest setup I've ever done on an audio device, especially a preamplifier processor. But I can certainly tell you that it's got some of the most crisp, clear sound I've ever heard from a preamplifier to date. Would you be able to tell the difference between something like this Parasound and the MC700? Well, I can tell you I can certainly tell the difference using an HDMI connection, that is. Well, that's because most preamplifiers, for home audio stereo 2 channel at least, aren't going to have any digital inputs on them under the $1,000 price range. But there's just something unique about this MC700 and the fact that the sound is crisp, clear, dynamic, and well we just get a lot more headroom than we do using an AV receiver running RCA cables from the pre-out section of it. So I want to talk a little bit about that in the sense of using a pre-amplifier like this or even a pre-pro processor in place of an AV receiver and driving power amplifiers from the pre-out section. You see, most surround sound, pro surround sound receivers just don't have the amount of voltage from the pre-out section, at least RMS, that a good old preamplifier does. In fact, the Marantz models are usually the AV receivers known for just about the highest amount of pre-out voltage RMS that there is. Now, there's no easy way to gauge exactly how much voltage is coming out from the pre-out section, but I can sure tell you that I've experimented and well. At similar volume settings, the MC700 sounds a heck of a lot better than using my Marantz with the same power amplifier at the same amount of gain and, well, input sensitivity and all other factors the same. Speakers, cables, so on and so forth. Well, that was pretty easy, guys. So let's go ahead and move the MC700 on over to our home theater rack, hook it up to multiple power amplifiers this time, and see how she does. Until then, guys, take care. Don't forget to check out my review also of the MC700 coming shortly. But I hope you at least enjoyed connecting it on up with me. This next job is going to be a little harder, guys. Take care, and don't forget to subscribe.